Hi everyone! Today I'm talking about supplements and I'm answering two main questions. Are they useful and how to choose them? So supplements are very popular among people that work out. They use them to increase their energy levels, to improve performance, to improve their body composition, and to avoid deficiencies. But are they really useful? So a lot of times, no, because what is found in supplements can be found in foods, sometimes even in larger amounts. And the main difference is that while a supplement isolates a nutrient, for example, vitamin C, in foods, you find the vitamin C, but with a bunch of other nutrients that actually act together to provide an effect. So like fiber or other vitamins, minerals, etc. So it's always better to choose uh, foods when possible, but sometimes it's just not practical to eat foods, for example, during a workout or um, after a workout, if you want a quick recovery snack and uh, you weren't home all day, so you weren't able to, to bring that much food with you and it's 40 degrees outside, maybe it's not possible to bring Greek yogurt, for example, so a protein powder um, could be useful. But you still have to be careful um, because supplements do cost a lot of money and they can be harmful. Uh, for example, a mega dose of one vitamin can in inhibit the absorption of another vitamin or some supplements contain uh, large doses of caffeine, which could uh, be harmful, or uh, they can be contaminated with hormones or other things. So here are um, three tips to make an informed choice. First, make sure you know what you're taking. Look at the ingredients, make sure um, the ingredient list is there, and the shorter the better. So with my practice, I notice that often uh, athletes or people take supplements uh, because their friend takes it or their, their teammate, but they have no idea what they're taking, what's in it. So uh, make sure you know. Uh, here you, you have a protein powder, so the main ingredient should be protein. Um, so make sure that there's not a bunch of other stuff. So here it says whey protein isolate. So that's protein, and then it has a little bit of stevia to give it some taste since it's vanilla, but it doesn't have really other things, so that would be a good choice. Second, ask yourself um, why you're taking it and do you really need it? Is there a scientific evidence that justifies its use? And make sure that the other determinants of your performance, such as sleep, recovery, your workout, your nutrition are optimal before deciding to, to choose a supplement. And um, third, if possible, uh, try to choose one that has a logo. So for example, that one is NSF. There's also Informed Choice, GMP. So those logos uh, mean that the product has been tested. So there's less of a chance that it will be contaminated. So don't hesitate um, to share this video and to leave us your comments. If you're not sure if you should use the supplements, don't hesitate to talk to a registered dietitian.